Hey Tom, what are you doing here, man? Remember, uh, it's a bit of old uh, school uh, stuff. Uh, one, of our, one of our many projects today, Owen. Yeah. We need to get the, the job done, you know. Yeah. Making feet for uh, a, a boy here. And uh, he's really gone. He's really gone. Uh, really gone this boy here. Oh, see? yes, yes. Remember, yeah. we were told on that. We were told that. Yeah. We're not finished with it. Yeah. yeah, but those these boys here are going to this year. Uh huh. Yeah. And then there's a top on it. Yeah. And that is a, what is that, a pew? What do you call it? It's a, 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 no, it's a kind of a lectern. Aye, for a church? Well, Chapel for, church? It's actually for um, undertakers, mm -hmm. them, for people to sign the book of some donors. Right, right, right. So right. I like it like for an undertaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so that's the way she's figuring out. This will go on here from the SEC. Mm -hmm. Right, I suppose we can put it on like this, it'll take it. You know? Yeah. And your four legs. And your four so. the four feet. Yeah. Right. And um yeah. Uh top end you see them. You have to cut that out now, obviously. And we'll have it glued up and all. Yeah. And this is where you're going up here and it's really set really set an angle. <coughs> right on, you know? Gotcha. And you do that for reading off as well, like a lecture. Yeah. Right? And uh, Made it in mahogany and stained very dark to look yeah. like, um, slightly, um, I suppose, a bit of seriousness about the thing. It's not, you know, we make a bit of oak too. Yeah. But, uh, it's just one of the many projects we're working on, you know. So I've, I've swept this out, these four guys up, and now I'm getting them shipped up. Please. And you uh, see there where the line well, What are you going to do? It's just I bring them to. Just put them down on okay, them and sand them. Right. Right. Cut my tenons here. Right. Can you show anybody out there how to spoke shift? Is there an act to it? Or? Uh, there's a wee bit of an act to it. Yeah. But uh, I've done a lot of spoke shaving over the years. Like. If you cut that by there, like, see the yeah. grain running there. Yeah. You could give you a wee bit of difficulty. Mm -hmm. From around here. The best thing you do is come down to the line. Okay? Yeah. In other words, the line is what I have to follow. You know, it's no good putting yeah. on a line and then not following it. Yeah. So if I bring that down to the line, there they get. Oh, you're that putting a wee chamfer on it down to the line? That'll tell me. Oh, ah, you, you know where you're instead going. Instead of then. just... Honestly, you know. Ah, instead of just trying to go down to the line. I'm working away all the so time. you put a wee chamfer on that? Yeah, but yeah. The, the green going on that is going very weird there. It's coming down there and then it's changing, you know. Mm. I'll be put it on slightly like this. Well, is there any way you hold that at an angle, Tom? No. I spoke to it. Well, I hold it at an angle like that. Yeah. You, maybe you get a chatter when you yeah. grab me. Yeah. But I've done that a lot. I was cutting well to hear that. Um, yeah, cutting. Sort of sharp sound, you know. And I'm slowly bringing it down, but I'm watching to not rub the grain. Yeah. But like, um, nowadays, like, you know, you can use you can use boys like this here, you know, for mm. what you do here. Yeah. Funny enough, the other hands didn't like you doing that. Is that right? They, they didn't like you doing this here, though. See that? Yeah. They didn't, they didn't want this. Aye, that's they wanted rough. They wanted this clean cut. They didn't, didn't really approve of things, I guess. Mm. You know. Traditionally? I mean, traditionally, they wouldn't approve of that. Mm. They wanted you to shape it down by hand. Yeah. Yeah, the whole range, folks here, but I use ma mainly that one. Mm -hmm. I've been using it for long, long minutes a day, you know. You have to be careful here. Right. The other thing is we, uh, we like a, you know, like a, um, a four inch sander. You know, like an eight wash here, like. Yeah. And if you set out your corner with your nicely, you can. Ah, you can win there with the sander? You know. Yeah. Make a nice job of it there, you know. Yeah. And then you finish it with the hand as well. Yeah. But, uh, you could do it with you, like, at the end of the day, it's not going to be noticed. Mm -hmm. The better they stick, you know, I have, I have one as a template, and I'm working to mm -hmm. that. You know, see, that line's perfect. Oh, yeah, that's your template there. And then I'll cut my tenons here. Yeah. And we will cut these by hand and all, you know, not really. Yeah. You don't use much machinery there. Ah, you're back to template. Bit, there's a bit more there. You see the way it's kind of rough there. That's a hard bit of wood. There's heavy as well. Mm -hmm. You know. 
Se pele inak. Now it's in between, this was the rubbish wood. Now unfortunately, it's a good mahogany, mm -hmm. you know. Brazilian mahogany is the, the best wood. Yeah. You know, you don't get it too much now. Do you find mahogany easier to work with or harder with time? Very, very easy to Sorry. work. Good Brazilian mahogany. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of Mariante and red Mariante and Filipino mahogany. Brazilian mahogany was the top quality one, nice. you know. If you're doing about a nice work, you couldn't really beat uh, the Brazilian mix. You got to get with it. You can always use uh, a... Probably good. It's very uh, aggressive. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Coaching that at times, you know? Mm -hmm. I, just, uh, I just go around it. Mm -hmm. you know? Bring it down. You might turn on shop, you know, you might turn it over. You fall over it. You know? If you get the. Uh, no. Some of the sun is turning up, you know. Yeah. You can put your, you can put your sun and put it around it. And, uh, no, you can put it with it. Yeah. You know? You see that kind of grip there? That'll, that'll seem like a job of it, you know? It's nice work, though, you know? Yeah. You know? Yes. Good. Of course, like, you know, you can see oh, the difference, and that was a hard button, making a good shape there at it, you know. It's like a um, hardy bit, a personal. Mm. Aye, oh, everything, no power tools, just all handwork. Yeah, well, it's nice, you know. Yeah. I see one down out there. Yeah, but it's... If you enjoy it, you know. Now you're obviously going to need the top better than the bottom. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, yeah. some of the ancient boys would have left the bottom very coarse. Right. So it's like some... Aye, because you wouldn't have seen it, like, really. And I think it was, it didn't matter, you know. Yeah. So it might have a personal choice, you know. You know. And we were chatting a minute ago. The guy was using me several that I made. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. Yeah, I have those. If we take the... Uh, mm -hmm. These were acquired a long time ago. They've probably been dumped. Yeah. And, uh, uh, high speed steel blades out of an electric planer. Out of a planer? A big planer too. Yeah. And that's what you made this out of? That's what I made that table right. out of. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. I thought that makes sense, doesn't it? And all you have to do is, if you grind it down, you mm -hmm. have to want the seeds, obviously, yeah. you know. That one as well. You grind it that down on both sides? Grind it down to match, uh -huh. to the bevel edge, and then grind your length, wherever it is, you know. So, mm -hmm. originally that was probably longer than that. So you made your own chisel? So you, down to here, you make your own Cause chisel. Because your own handle. Well, you have to be able to do a bit of wood turning. Or know somebody. Nice, know nice little chisel, but... Do you know anybody does wood turning? <laughs> we need a lot of hay coats, so we can figure out who does wood turning. Yeah, that's it too. You know, I mean... Uh, look at the quality of that high-speed steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we were recycling before people were recycling, you know? Yeah. Uh, hey, it works out that like April two time, doesn't it? Oh, but it's You're making use of something lovely. that's, that's you know, sort of way is going to be thrown away. You take it, you know, a small chisel like that, yeah. and a large one like that. So the, the old hands would have, uh, I never ever using a chisel like that. If my teacher would have, would have put a shoulder on the here, you know, mm -hmm. like that, and drop it down the shoulder, you know. Right, for shaping out and things like that. You know, yeah. It's different, different with the shoulder here, you know. Pretty carpentry, isn't it? It's pretty old school, you know. What I've done here is I have a, a bar in here, a mm -hmm. bladed bar, a slot in it, and this locates into it. 
En een holle handel. Nee, dat is hal ik. Dat is hal ik. Dan maak je de beste handel. We hebben boten in ons. Mm -hmm. Hammer. Je doet een goede hammer. Je een goede hammer. We hammer de gespen. Nee, dat is een hele dag. Nou, dat is wel een hele dag. Dat is een in de war. Ik heb een goede hammer. 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 Ik Das ist das genau. International Mallet, das Ding, ne? Das ist ein Mallet, ne? Ja, das ist ein Mallet, ne? Ja, das war ein Feier, aber das war ein Feier, aber das war ein Feier. Everything is made in this place, Tom. Ja. You made it yourself. Das war ein Feier, aber das war ein Feier. Und wenn der Paras Dein, und das war ein Dein, und dann habe ich ein Kotter an der Edler. Ja. Ich erinnere mich, in 1981, ich glaube, ich habe das Mallet, ich glaube, ich habe das Mallet, ich glaube, ich kann mich erinnern, dass ich You know, it was sort of an historic event, of course, you know. But um, it is a beast, isn't it? It is a beast, yeah. Well, uh, There's some weight in that, too, as I picked it up on it. Yeah. If you go hammer, you know, hammer. You, you want to wreck your tools. Each other, you know. Yeah. And I guess another one of them high speed boys, yeah. Yeah. You turned the wee back crooked, but uh, you know. Ah, he's good steel. He's just as good as any time, isn't he? He just. Yeah. Don't mind the problem. If you cut yourself, you really hurt. Cut. You won't feel it, but you'll bleed profusely. You know. Yeah. It's like, you know, if you if you tell the right to you, you can buy them pretty reasonable, you know. But why would you buy when you can make it? Well, there's more. You know what I mean? More satisfaction than making it, you know. Like. It's a good idea for anybody starting off, you know, to make their own. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you were one time, Tom. You started off with what? Nothing, really. I started off with four pounds. There were days I hadn't even got four pounds. None of the banks, none of the banks just finished me. You were lucky you were left down and up at all. I mind you saying, but you started off with just a couple of wee tools. Uh, well, uh, I did, but that was. You know, look at this lovely antique chisel. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, look, isn't it? You like the old stool stuff, Tom Stanley. Yeah, look at that, there. Isn't that yeah. a nice bit of tin in there? Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, I have two of these. Uh, there's the other one there. I have two of these. They no. don't make stuff, Tom, like that anymore, do they? Like, well, you know, the steel might be better, but I mean, the, the, the workmanship that went into the stuff, the thought, the thought you know, like the looking at the wee saws and things like that, like, we were showing saws yesterday, right? You know, if you look at that, look at that socket chisel, yeah. you know, from Mortison, yeah. you know, and I think it's quite that for me, that copper flange, because mm -hmm. that'll go all nasty in your yeah. hand, you know, yeah. you want that. I'm just looking at Ah, uh, how's uh, I haven't. Uh, there's a there, look, right? Mm-hmm. You see these boys here, look? Yeah. You see I you see that, yeah. See them? Yeah. You're giving to me an old man, uh, about 40 years ago, and there were his brothers, and his brother was working in the local mouth. I can see the way. And he yeah. headed off to the wire, and never seen again. Right. And his brother gave me them two years, and I think they were doing it. Yeah. look. Somebody has made a hound here, probably the wood turners in the mouth has made a hound there. Yeah. But that, that's a black looking hound, but that one there is a bit of a homegrown look about it. Mm -hmm. you know? So the man to give you them, he was he's obviously not around anymore when he no, went to the he, war? He's no, but they were his brothers. Right, right, his right. His brother was 19, went to the Second World War and never was seen again. You know? Yeah, yeah. He just got sucked under the whole madness of the whole thing, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the tools like that is. So they're more of a keepsake, man. Well, you know, you know, there's a short chisel, like you're doing a short job. Mm. Nicely aged chisel. But I mean, you need other tools to keep you from damaging the good tools. Yeah. yeah. You know, I like these wee guys, different things, you know. You know, what does that say there? Can you see that? I don't know what that says, Tom. It says mm. a shamrock and it anywhere something there. You know, something like shamrock? Something like that. Like a star there or something? Yeah. Like we need them all like, for different jobs, you know. Hey, that's a nice little that's a nice little Marples obviously there, be careful. I'll give some amount of tools. Yeah, 
Not a good source of buying uh, old tools as I used to advertise to buy them and all, you know. Mm. A, good, a good statement that one there, but then you just cover flanges and feed it yeah. in your hand. When it's rough in your hand, isn't it? Taze wants the flanges knocked yeah. out, isn't it? The copper flanges. Yes, the yeah. that one there, though, is yeah. rough in your hand. You don't like the copper, Tom? I don't like the way it goes. It's too soft. Day, if you're working all day, that will hurt your hand. Yeah. And then when you need to keep tidying it up, you, yeah. mean you don't need that in the center of your hand, you know. That's where, never I made that one yellow. You, know, you, can, you, uh, you, put, a, you put a steel top in it or something? Friendly, you know. It's a bolt head. Yeah. Head of a bolt. Right. But then what it does, um, I'm like, uh, what we'll do someday with a much one of these boys here. Aye. And we'll beg yeah. if somebody to turn a hound for it. Well, I suppose you'll be able to do that, Tom. Give me the one, all right. Have you begged them what to do? <laughs> uh, that's a thicker one, is it, no? Made in England, high speed still. Yeah. That's, that's ideal, isn't it? Make rum with your ground. Uh, that's a bit thicker, that's thicker now. Uh, that's stuff. Now, them's bench too. Uh, yeah. Not for, um... Not for dogging. Yeah, them there looks very blacksmithy made there, don't they? They, they do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably were too. Well, they've had luck a bit then. They probably they? were, yeah. Well, they look that way. So you have a whole mixture of tools, Tom. You see this what I'm saying, Tila? Look at that there. You know, like that's old school, isn't it? There's a bit of work went into that, like brass. That's yeah. You know. You can see by the handle even there's a bit of work went into it. Like you wouldn't get that. You get plastic now. Know, Let's throw, throw it away after you finish it, but... They don't want no plastic. Everything is disposable now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a disposable world. Disposable world. Yeah. No. They don't really want the plastic, you know. So any young lads coming up there, you're uh, obviously buy, buy old tools. I if you can know. get them fairly good, like... You can, you can seek them out. You know, the and you have them for life, and sharpen them yourself. Yeah. That's your game anyway, Tom, learn, isn't it? Learn to sharpen them. Uh, learn to sharpen, yeah. You know. Instead of throwing away tools and... Throwing away those disposable saws you're getting. You see the one that you got the last week, Jerry, going? Throw it under me, you might, please. Never those were away, and uh, a different mushroom. Yeah. And we come on an old saw. An old shop? And we'd not get it. No, it was a sort of a... An antique shop? An emporium, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, an antique shop, an emporium. And uh, Jerry got a lot of these saws, but the dates done up. Yeah. And Gavin. Oh, yes. No. Yes. 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 Mighty fine, though, you know. A pistol grip hand. Yeah. You know. See that in your hand, Alex. Really. You need to Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. When you have that. You, know quality, like? you see that wee handle there, Alex. Like? I mean, that's quality. Huh? Is that a wee dovetail, sir? Yeah. You know. Now, how much was that, Tom? Mm. Just for letting people it was, know. It was very expensive. It was ten pounds. Ten pounds. I mean, for God's sake. No, you, you've all paid dear in that form of time. Yeah. It's a bargain, ten pounds, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, this one here, but ten and so, that's a joke deal, so. Mm -hmm. Look at it working, and, mm -hmm. uh, and you have Lovely, it. isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. You know, I know. it's quality, like, you have it marked you might, there. You might buy a long arm, I like a, a longer one, a 14 inch. Yeah. But we have encountered a strange problem. The boat went out of struggle, a 14 inch. Mm -hmm. And, uh, this, 12 inches and rather than must be 14 in Scotland. <laughs> you know, uh, he, he sold you, he sold you that one? <laughs> he sold me 14 inches like the 12 inch. Yeah. And I was thinking, they're in Ireland there, we're coming down to them flipping hands, you know. Yeah, we tenants us. What about this here, bro, so, you know, you know. 
Damn, you've worn that down. No, but I didn't like to do that. We need to be about 150 to do that. <laughs> you know what he was doing that? It was obviously, I don't use that anymore. Yeah. It was sawing probably flooring boards. Yeah. It's like a keyhole saw where you get the point mm -hmm. on and yeah. saw away, you know. It has its use, Tom. There's two of them about there somewhere, you know. It has its use. Well, he was using it. Yeah. And that's an old saw, second down there. Mm -hmm. Marvelous. So that's in the USA, an old one too, you know. And I hear sharpened that down, like, and like a my saw yeah. size down to that. And there's two of them. Tom, you're a collector of saws too. And I like them, you know, I like tools, like, you know. Like, old uh, tools? I like old tools, like, you know. And I got a wee jam saw there, like, right a fine. That's a nice wee saw, yeah. You see when you're sharpening them, you have to wear a pair of goggles to see them. Yeah. Cause when I was it's younger, I used to be able to there. see them a lot better, you know. A little it's saw. Here. I bought that one there, very cheap too. No. It's with uh, a few of them saws here. Tom, um, what would you use that saw there for? That's for for knocking down a tree. Oh, that's for tree, uh, right? There's a hole in them there and a hole in them there. Mm -hmm. And you had a big one, a two man one, and this one. Mm -hmm. Now, how about this? I tried this and this works. Mm -hmm. And all you know, you can see the lead. It's a brute, isn't it? It's fine here to get on, and then what do we get? The idea of the cord was, at night, he would have put it around his back and head it off, and he would have been tired that night, you know. Mm -hmm. that all day. Tired, uh, mm -hmm. Look at the length of it. Just to get it. Aye. That's right. not very reasonable, you know. Yeah. But that's not to say that, you know, you're getting that. Um, that's a Dustin, too, judging by the vibes on it, though. Mm -hmm. You know, Henry Dustin and Sons, Philadelphia. A good solid, you know, too long to get the noise off. Yeah. You know, my favorite saw is this one here, it's very coarse. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, saw, Tom. Some uh, wang off it, isn't there? I knew an old man, and he, he could put it down, and he could play it with a ruler. <laughs> you know, I think it's more of a. Um, what would you call it? A music hall? Aye, aye, it's a, a res. What would you call it? Music hall, huh? Yeah. You can tell the steel. Ah, you can tell us. You can tell by the steel, by. That's been cut, that boy there, like. Yeah, I've seen you cutting with that. It's an animal of you. It's right and sharp at the moment, you know, I sharp. I hit sharp, but I love them when they're sharp. Yeah. You know what, you know? I've okay. seen you cutting big boards with that thing, no oh, problem, it went truth like butter. It's very coarse. Yeah. Lovely pistol handle again on that, like. You see the workmanship there, there like. If you carry, um, if you get a bit of that, the electrician's uh, conjured pipe. Aye. Just so put it, keep, it. keep the blade right. This is the last saw come out of shopping Belfast. Let's go on now. Mm -hmm. It's finer and all, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a spear and Jackson. There's a big channel on it, but I mean, my, my teacher and mentor had one with a rosewood hanging on it. Mm -hmm. But they're a different quality from that, you know. You can see the other quality, Tom, compared to that one, no? Uh, you a, know. There's a, a down turn. Yeah. You no, know, there wasn't as much. Not bad, either. Yeah. There wasn't as much uh, talk on it, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. He'll tell you the See, old tradesmen. If you look at the... Um, they took um, a lot of pride yeah. in the way they done these, things, didn't they? You can see these hounds here yeah. and appeal with them, like, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. You know, completely different thing, you know? Lovely grip. The thing about the shouting of the boys can be difficult, you know, you really know what they're doing. Yeah. Can't. You know, I've seen people buy them and they got them cheap enough to get them back to them and they didn't know what they're doing and made a complete... Yeah. Mistake with a shed. A hems of them. Ah, complete hems of them is right, you know. But that'll need to be cleaned up. Any pitting nice in there. Nice little but There's a wee tiny kink up here in the front, and I can fix that, but you'd be better to sharpen it up, get a bit of heat on it, and then ah, when, bit, it. when a wee bit of heat on it, set it in a bend of the wee bit. Mm -hmm. the, can you see it, though? There's a wee, a wee, ah, there's a wee kink edge. in it there, yeah. The yeah. You know, yeah, it's like, Somebody will try to saw something very small in the mm -hmm. board. And then bang it. I know the board's flying. Twist it. Twist it. 
Yeah. What are you making down Tom? You're making a you're making a table down here. Right. Are you making a top for a table? What's that um oak? That's the top for a table there. That's a tabletop. Huh? Yeah. Should you making a tabletop there for somebody? So you're always busy here, Tom, aren't you? You're always making somebody for something. You're always making something for somebody. Yeah. So be waiter and that night, so be. Mm hmm. That's a beast of a table, too. At least 39, though. Yeah. Maybe 41 or something like that, you know. Is that for some stately home or something, Tom? Or what the hell is it? Yeah. I don't know why he wants it. He wants it two inches thick. Oh. And I hear the wedding that's going to be. Ah, it's going to be some weight. Oh, you need a. It's going to be some weight. What we're doing is we're making them two halves and then joining the two halves. Yeah, yeah. Let me just see what you know. Oh my goodness, that's only mm. half. Isn't it? That's enough there. They're tunneling together, you know. Ah, you put a yeah. I put a loose tongue in it and then yeah. it, you know. Like that. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the tongue in it there. Yeah. yeah. So you put something, you put a boat, obviously you put timber in here just to... There's a slight cord in there, which I don't like. That yeah. was on the timber, up about two thirds up about there. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a, a hollow there. And that yeah. was on the timber. That was in the timber. You see with heat and everything else, and cold and heat, and you know what I mean, timber works anyway. Timber, the timber is has a mind of its own, really. We have 12 boards in this table. Yeah. You might get two of them not as good as the other ten, you know. Yeah. You know. Be some place. table, but on a stone top? Be some top, aren't it? Be some top, yeah. You probably finish at the end. Of, I don't know, what is we finish with? I'm not finishing it, I'm only trying to get the guy and then I'd have to do a bit of maybe sand at it for a good while as well, you know. Mm. Ah, I'd get, get a lot of cleaning up. Yeah. We'll do some of it, but you know. He can do it himself. You can see there where the tongue stops off. Mm -hmm. About 50 miles back from the line. Yeah. I'll cut that off. Seven foot long and probably roughly 41 inches. It's a beast of a table, like. Uh -huh. But that's what you want, Ty, hey, with real wood, Tom. That's what you get here in this well, place. You could use Quality. That. You could use that. And damage it. Sand it. Yeah. Varnish it again. Sand damage it. it and damage sand it. And you're. <laughs> Uh, grandchildren could do that, you know. Yeah. Like it's not a, a veneered top or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's not old plywood or it's not, it's our old MDF, MDF yeah. It's yeah. a solid oak, like, you know. Yeah. And, um, That's built for generations to come. See the last day, but we're laying with some of this stuff here. Mm -hmm. You know, that would make a nice sweet table on the phone, wouldn't it? Would, yeah, it's lovely. You know, it's uh, three inches thick there, you know. Lovely bit of wood too. You know, some of it's nice. Mm, you yeah. see, you get these things from timber, don't you? You, know? you do, yeah. You get lovely grains. Well, right, Ronan. Well, Ronan, how are you keeping? Good. That's Tom's that is grandson. Next door. Well, Tom, we've. I need to tidy up again. I need to tidy up. You need to tidy up. <laughs> Folks, sorry about uh, not keeping up with the videos there, but I was away on holidays in Tom, and I was away doing a couple of tests, um, motorbike tests and all that kind of crack. So we haven't been, well, we'll be back in farm again now. We've got the holiday season over us and Tom's flat out again. So, alright, thank you. Tom, like and subscribe please if you can, and uh, keep the old channel going. We'll keep it going and we'll get a few more videos up, you know. So, um, God bless for now. All right. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.